Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 29. In this topic, we're going to be placing the bungalows over here. So for that guys, we're going to go into the site plan. And over here, because everything is in layers, things are going to get very easy for us. So what I want you guys to do is, I want you to select the tree layer and press hide. I want you to select the grass and click on the hide button, as well as on the main layer. For the main layer, we need it. We can remove the boundary line from here. Something like that. Now once we're done with this much guys, we basically only need this much to take to our key plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go right on the top, go on the WT layer, right click and we're going to say merge visible. What will happen with that is all the layers will actually get merged and you can see these three layers have not been touched and neither will they get spoiled. So what we'll do is we quickly select the marquee tool and just erase this portion off like this this portion off, this one as well, and this one as well. Then I can select W, click on the white portion and press delete. Now guys, you have to understand this can be one of the ways, but what we can also do is I can press Ctrl Alt Z, go all the way back till here, Ctrl D. And now before I actually uh, delete, emerge these layers, I can actually go down and hide the background as well. And what that will basically do is now when I do merge visible, it will actually let us delete off the edge lines, but we don't have to worry about the white background. So you can see this is a more advanced way of actually doing what we had just done. Control D. Now I can drag this whole portion into the cul-de-sac and place it over here. And remember to place it right above everything else. Now we can easily go ahead and place this over here. And it's going to be of course the same size because our cul-de-sac was uh, drawn also in the same size and actually just place this over here we can place that over here now i can go ahead and place it over here but it needs to be rotated we all know how to rotate but it's going to be a little difficult because if i press ctrl t and i start rotating it's going to actually rotate it by acting as if the center is over here but can you see this little key that we have if you cannot see this key guys then you have to understand that we can actually use we can actually easily find that key by clicking over here. So I hope you guys are able to find this key over here. And I'm actually going to drag this key from here to this point. Now what is this point? This is basically the corner of the building that I have kept as a match between our cul-de-sac as well as of our main drawing. And once that is done, I can actually now rotate it and the axis would have changed. So this is a very good way to actually change the axis and Press enter and you guys can see how I've actually now placed this and we can just use the arrow key slightly to actually just place this properly. And the same thing guys you're going to be doing for this entire area. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. Just pressing alt and copying. So like this. Now guys, once I've actually gone ahead and completed placing it in this entire curve, we're actually going to see how to place it over here. And if you guys notice that this area is actually a mirror over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go ahead and select one, two and three to actually come to know that this is the third one. And I'll create a new layer just above this. I'll create a new layer and I'll call this as filler. Now let's see what this filler is. I'm going to use the marquee tool to actually make a box selection over here and I'm going to press alt backspace and that's going to actually fill up a color which would be black so this is just a filler that I'm using and the filler is basically going to let me fill up the space that we don't really use right now and I'll select all these three as well as the filler and I will now copy it from here over here so it actually matches and gives us a proper you know created area just use the arrow key to move it. Now to mirror it guys, we're actually going to press 
control T and move it from top down like this till here and I can press enter and that's actually going to be the way that we'll actually be able to match the mirror as well as fill this space up for matching it. Now I can delete the filler copy as well as I can delete the regular filler. Now guys, once we have done this much, you can see we are more or less completed with our key plan. We just have to place a couple of trees and then we need to even add uh, a, some color in the white area over here. So I'm going to show you a very good way to actually do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the wand tool and I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these spaces. Remember we are using the wand tool and we're using it in any layer directly. Make sure your sample or layers is switched on if you want to do the same. So I'll just quickly go ahead and select all these white spaces. Even if it goes a little bit to the side, it's completely fine. It's going to be a key plan, it's going to be compressed. So as you can see, I've selected all these white spaces. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my move tool and I'm not going to create a layer this time, but I'm going to use, select the road layer, which is basically this layer. And because the, the road layer has, as you can see over here, it has the inner shadow as well as the pattern overlay. The minute I press Alt and Backspace, we will be filling in color. But you can see that there is a color difference between this as well as this. And the reason for that is we have filled in the black color. So now I will press Ctrl Backspace and now we have filled in the exact same gray color that we had used for filling in the road the first time. And once that's done, I can press Ctrl D and you can see guys how now this portion looks like an opening into the bungalows. If you further want to clean this more, you can see that there are these lines over here and these lines are of course from the main layer. So I can use the marquee tool and create a box over just these lines and actually delete them. But what will happen is this will open up again. So now I can actually select the road and again press Ctrl Backspace to fill that particular broken area up as well. Now that will be a little tedious process and according to me not very necessary since this is going to be just a key plan and it's not disturbing the eye as much. Yes, if this was a main plan, then you will have to clean it up. So again, I'll just repeat, I can use the marquee tool to select the space, delete it off from the main layer. And then in the same space, go to the road and press Control backspace to fill in color. Something like that. Now you guys have to understand that I'm not going to be doing it for the rest of this area because it's going to get compressed. But if you want to keep it clean, then that's a way to do it as well. Now the last thing we'll do guys is we'll open up a tree from our materials file. Quickly open up, let's say, this tree. And I can double click and press OK. Use W, select the white area and delete this off. Press Ctrl D and drag this tree from here into this cul-de-sac. And I can just go ahead and place trees on each and every area over here, something like this. You can even place it inside the plots. You can actually landscape it the way you wish to. The more the thought you put behind it, the better you'll get as a rendering person in Photoshop. So I believe that's a way to actually improve your rendering process by actually doing creative things, you know, doing one or two more things. Just bring this right on top. So you can see that's come up. Actually just put maybe two over here, actually three. Um, so this is something that we have kind of done. Now we can obviously go ahead and select all the tree layers that we have created, guys. Let's merge them all together. And of course, give them a drop shadow. And now once that much is done, guys, we can actually now use these for our sheet compilation. I hope you guys have finished this much off and I'll see you guys in the next topic where we'll be using this to compile our sheet. Take care and all the best.